What's up guys, today I'm changing the BCM in this 2005 Chevy Equinox. This also works for Saturn views. I don't know if you have one of those. But this is what the old BCM looks like. Um, the new BCM, I just got at a junkyard from another vehicle. So yeah, I already put the new one in. So first of all, you do not want to disconnect the battery when you do this. When you go to take this cover off, you want to put the key in and put the shifter back. That way you can get it off. Like that. So like, this goes on there. You just go under here with a flat screwdriver and try and not damage your edge here. Try not damage the plastic and just pry upward. And then you can just pry up around, just pry everything out and then the whole thing will pop out. And then you can just, uh, you have to disconnect your clip down here. There's one clip down here for the window switches. You have to disconnect that one in order to get it to come over far enough. So basically just like that. And then you can get in there to get to your BCM. Okay, so I pulled it out again. Um, but yeah, you just basically want to make sure your key is on the on position while you're changing it. That way it starts up again. If your key is not in the on position and if your battery is not connected while you change it, then it won't start up again because the security system won't let it start up. So now to put it back in, it has a track on each side there. Just put it back in level and slide it in. Um, and then just plug your plugs back in obviously and then once you plug your plugs back in then your vehicle should start and everything should work good and this does apply i'll just start it well let's obviously need to put it in park first but so the trick is you basically have to have the key in the on position when you unplug the old one and plug the new one back in. So you basically have to have it in on position when you swap it. And I'm gonna turn it back off because it's in my garage. But basically what it does is your BCM controls like your gauges and whatnot. And then it also stores the mileage for your vehicle. So it's running and all that. And like I was saying, the mileage so the new BCM I put in has 100,739 miles. So that's what's showing up here. The old BCM had 105,000 and some miles. So um, if you want to change the mileage and reprogram that stuff, you can take it to the dealership and they can reprogram the miles. But if you just want to switch out the BCMs to maybe fix some of your gauge problems, if some of your gauges aren't working or whatever, then you can do this and then obviously your miles are going to change your mileage is going to change but um yeah this is how you do it but then you can just take it to the dealership and have them reprogram it and the first time i put it in the like the security light went off but now i've put it in like the second time and it hasn't gone off yet so i'm not sure if i'm gonna have to um just turn it off and start it again or if I'm gonna have to disconnect the battery for like a day for that to reset yeah I just wanted to show you guys this because I didn't find a lot of information about it so yeah that's how you change it and yeah if it helps you out uh, comment down below like and subscribe uh, comment if you have any questions about it